Hello friends, it's Kiona from Rugged Pages. I just have some, well, a lot of journals to share with you today. These are the ones that I am currently using. I don't use them all regularly, but I am partially in each of them and they each have a unique purpose. So I wanted to take you through them today. Um, I have this stack first, which is honestly probably the less used stack. So first I have a traveler's notebook and this is a, just a blue dyed leather and it has an elastic on it and I've put some charms on here that came off of a beautiful necklace but I don't wear a lot of charms so um, they served me better on this bullet journal which is just really pretty. Um, I have made a lot of the notebooks in here. This one came with the journal and then it's just got a bunch of pockets in here, a large pocket, and a pen tab, another pocket here, and another large pocket. So this could be used to house an entire book if you wanted to. Um, a lot of the stuff in these journals is pretty personal. Uh, this is mostly a writing journal, so I'm not gonna flip through the insides, but this one is work ideas, like video ideas, to-do lists, planning, stuff like that. Um, this one, this one is, was going to be, it's more like a bullet journal type, um, but it's got some special trip stuff we went on and it's not very full. It's not started very much. This journal, this is actually my favorite of the ones, um, this is my favorite paper. Uh, this was just a situation I was working through and needed to get all my thoughts out on paper. And so it was for one specific situation and um, this was just the journal I was working through in it. And then I did a like a weight loss diet thing. It's not really a diet, but I was just keeping track of the types of food I eat and um, the results and stuff. So I kept good track of that. And this journal is actually almost done. So that's, that's that. Anyway, I don't use this one on a daily basis or even a monthly day basis. It's more of like when the situation arises that I need kind of a secret quiet place to write things down and I don't feel like I need to make it beautiful and perfect, this is where I go. So we'll put that one to the side. These next two, well, maybe I'll just do this one first. This one is an altered book and I did some lace and I made it kind of like a traveler's notebook cover in that I put eyelets down here and then elastics so that I could slide in new journals. And then I've got this elastic and I've got a little rose charm on there. It's a, let's see if there, isn't that just gorgeous? It was a button from my grandma's collection. And then I just had some pretty paper that I stuck back there. Then um, this one is really, really loose and open. I just used a bunch of scrap types of papers. And then this is my work ideas journal. So this was, I believe last year's or two years ago's colors of the year. So I got all these. So these was like my color scheme. And then, um, nope, this would be 2018. So 2018's colors of the year, 2019's colors of the year. So nothing really classy, just some random, pretty things out of notebooks put in here. Um, plainly is a good place to go, <laughs> plainly. Um, this was just an encouraging verse. Well, yeah, I guess it is a verse, but I just stuck that in the center. And then this, I'm not gonna go through all this, but this is like dimensions of journals and the prices I listed them for and the styles and stuff like that so that I could repeat my journals, but let's see. I haven't written, let's see. Okay, so this part <laughs> of the journal is not used yet. So you see, I just use a bunch of different types of papers and different sizes and um, just put them all together. And I just, I love this journal. So this one gets used for more work purposes, but even if you're just working, you might as well have something pretty to look at. So that is the purpose of this one. So I'm about halfway through 
And I've got a large envelope back here and it's got some pretty things in there. So. Well, then I haven't even used this envelope for anything. So this will probably get stuck in there later for something. So anyway, um, this is my work journal just for record keeping and stuff. Put that one to the side. Next up, these two journals. These are like love letter journals to my husband. Um, so we've been married three years almost. And the first year of our marriage, I made him a journal. Or I, no, I bought him a journal for the first year. And every day or for every day of the year, I would write like a love letter to him, a love note. And so it had 365 love letters in it. And it was really fun, but it was also really demanding. So um, I started another one. Actually, I think I made this one next. Um, I started another one and I have not kept up with it. So this one has kind of become the collection area for other love letters. But I have, this is also an altered book. I've lined it with music paper. And then um, I put some true vintage postcards in here. So you see this one's been used to the one I love. Isn't that just so cute? And then some personal journaling in there on some handmade paper. Um, I'm going to skip through some of this because I don't want to share all my personal journaling with you. <laughs> uh, but I do love my husband a lot. I have two of these in here. So this is a envelope and then it's got a little mini journal in there. And the purpose of this is that because we travel so much for work, um, I can't always take a big journal with me, but I can take a little one. So my thoughts were when we're on the road, I can grab one of these and I've started filling out the one on the other side of this page which is why I'm not showing it to you. Um, but I can just write out little things or little, put little pieces of memorabilia in there. Let's see, there we go. And then the envelope is the only thing that's stuck to the page. And it just looks a little prettier with a ribbon on it. So this, um, I'm gonna put some love letters in here, but this, so this is a little bag that I've made into a pocket. And then this is, you know, the string pull painting, acrylic painting that they've been doing a lot on YouTube lately. Um, I tried that on a much smaller scale. I just taped it off with some washi tape on the outside and then did the same thing. And it turned out really well. I used really thick watercolor paper in here. So you can see it didn't even bleed through at all. Um, and I'm making some new bullet journals or some new junk journals with this type of paper. Then I just used the strings and I just did a mess around the outside because I thought it was pretty. So anyway, I'll take you on a quick flip through of this one because it is mostly empty. Um, so I've got a mix of like almost see-through paper in here and coffee dyed papers and then that really thick watercolor paper. So I can do acrylic and watercolor painting on here and do whatever I want. And then I used a bunch of Norman Rockwell's, um, just the miniature paintings in here. And let's see, you can't even see me. There we go. Okay. Um, so that's that, the watercolor paper. This is just like a textured page I did with some coffee dyeing on there. Did some little pockets. So these can be journaled on, this can be journaled on. More of Norman Rockwell's painting. So I had one of his mini, you know, reprint calendars and I just used all the pictures in there to put in here. This is some handmade paper that I've stuck in there to journal on later. So this is pretty blank, obviously, because I haven't done anything, but also so that I can write a lot in here, write love letters, and then also do art pieces in here. So I'm gonna try to work in here a little bit more this year. Another really large pocket made out of a music sheet and handmade paper in there. They're just so pretty. And it's got torn edges too. So 
so anyway, i can journal on those later. There's another full color sheet. I just love that page. I love blue. My favorite color is blue, if you can't tell. And isn't that so cute? I love that. Norman Rockwell had some super cute paintings. This is another truly vintage postcard. And we went to New York um, two years ago, I think, a year ago. And so that was kind of meaningful. Um, and then I have some more stuff in there, a large sheet to be a journaling card. It's so pretty. And a large envelope, and I don't think there's anything in there. There isn't. So anyway, um, this is basically a new journal, but I come in here and I write little love notes or put little bits of memorabilia in there. And I do go from front to back in here. So that's that journal this one is like special occasions so this one's also for chris we love to sail so you may have seen this journal already um these are a couple vintage buttons this one is going to fall off i need to restitch that on there um but you can see they've got little anchors on them just super pretty and then i've got a leather strap to tie it together um and then sales on the back or on the cover. This was an old calendar sheet and I just folded it over the front. This is my favorite page in here, but it's got uh, where we went for our honeymoon. So we went to Cabo San Lucas and we took off from San Diego and we flew obviously not in all these zigzags, but um, we flew down here June 24th, 2017 was our wedding day. And yeah, anyway, so this is one of my favorite, favorite pages. And then this holds a lot of meaning. So this is, it's a collection of love letters. Um, this is one of our first photos together. And a lot of things in here hold some special meaning. So I won't go into all those, but um, yeah, and then I've got, so this one's a really long letter in there. Um, we own a Subaru and Chris likes to go racing. So this is going to be a cover page for one of the races that we did, um, to put in there. And then I've got some more private journaling in there, more letters. Um, here is, it, um, we went to a wedding. Um, it was close to our two year anniversary. So I had double the journaling and stuff, but yeah, anyway, so, and then I have just done some painting in here. So the same day I did the painting in the other journal, I just used the extras in here cause this is a complete book and I'm just writing on the top of it. So anyway, um, this is more of like special occasions, anniversaries, birthdays things that I want to be able to come in. Yeah, that one's going to need to get fixed. Anyway, so two journals for my husband. Um, then comes the journals that I use on a daily basis or pretty much daily. Um, this one is like my big picture journal and it is <laughs> pretty hefty and I have used it a lot, but it's basically my book of lists. So any really main big projects I need to get done, any time I'm really bored, any time um, I'm like setting goals for the entire year, that goes in here. And I am, looks like about halfway done with this, but it's just pretty much blank. It has the ability to be made into a calendar for any day of the year. It's kind of a light ink, so I don't know if you can see it, but it's got one through 31 listed here, and then you can list what day of the week it is, and then it's got an AM, PM schedule here, and then a blank spot. So I don't always use the full capability of this, but it is here if I ever need it to be that. So anyway, just a cool little handy book, compact, lots of space in there. Um, next up, I have this journal, which is almost done, and you can see it's pretty bedraggled, 
Um, it is just a plain notebook. This was my 2019. Um, and this was, let's see, it was a journal for the first little bit. And then it was my devotions at home for a little bit. And then here, oh look, Easter 2019. It's fitting that this is right before 2020 is Easter. Um, it became my church journal. So I would just take it to church when we went and journal about the sermon, take notes, use washi tape, doodles. You can see here I um, took some magazine cutouts to put in here. So just really loose. Um, this was information for a Christmas banquet we had. More doodles. Got into stickers. Looks like I forgot there was a blank page in there. Um, and then I ripped out some paper to make a new journal. And then this is the journals or the pages I didn't need. So this is what's left. I've got one, two, three, four pages left in here to finish up the year. So yeah. These are just my church. This is my church journal. So this goes with me to church. It get used. It's get it gets used once a week. So I'm slowly going through this one. Almost done with it. Next, um, I have my Bible study journal. This is this gets used every day, and I actually got this one as a prize from Burke Seven Vintage, and that she was giving this away for Easter last year. So it's fitting that I'm almost done with it this year. Uh, this is a vintage book and then she puts a bunch of different types of papers in here and spiral binds it. And then I added some ribbon from some different, um, like I think this was a project I was doing and then somebody else bought something. This has a lot of meaning to it. Um, and then she puts these ribbons on here to act as tabs. So. Um, take you through a few of these pages, but this is my daily devotional um, writing. This one is not personal. I can show you that one. It's just snail mail. And then she uses these beautiful vintage pages in there that have like different languages. So I think this one is French. And then, yeah, I don't want to show you guys all my personal journaling. This was um, on a trip work um, anyway this journal gets used a lot and since it's only writing I can um, spend a lot of time in this journal so that one's a pretty page this is just crayons it's incredible what you can do with just crayons um, And then this is what I have left of the journal. So I think I counted it. I think it's like 20 pages in here. So I am almost done with this journal. And this is my devotional journal. So really pretty, but I'm excited to start another one. So that's that one. Um, this is my traveler's notebook passport size. And I use this one the most. It's like definitely my most favorite journal of everything I have. Um, this, it's real leather. I forget who I got it from, but it was someone in Malaysia. I'll post that down below. Um, I just kind of doodle in here. Um, this was my planner for a while, the front one. And I've just got some stickers and plans and doodles. So this is in my purse everywhere I go. So if we're ever at an event like, oh, this was for Valentine's Day this year. Um, it was the only journal I took with us on our trip. We went to Bozeman and we went skiing and we ate at sushi, Dave's sushi, which is my favorite. And then we went for chocolate at the La Chatelaine Chocolate Company. And I saved one of their, um, 
business cards and then the rest of this is blank so it's got some space to go this journal or insert i've used more uh, this one has a couple tags on it from tea that i drink this is my favorite three teas and i drink it all the time this is a vintage insert from a book got some washi tape more washi some stitching uh, just really open so i've got doodles in here this would just be anytime i'm sitting somewhere and i cannot manage to sit still so <laughs> that's often um, and I'm trying to spend more time in my bullet journal than on like my phone playing silly games. So this is my direction there. Um, I've got a stitch tab, or no, this is uh, stapled in here. But this is my pencil thing starting now. This is one of my favorite pages and it's just uh, paint tabs and I wrinkled this up to give it a really uh, like vintage effect or whatever. Um, and then this was a wrapping for a bar of soap. And this was another ink or another paint tab. And then I choose joy and love grows in little houses. And it's just so simple. And I didn't write a single thing on there, but it's one of my favorite pages. Uh, this is just a full day of doodling. I probably was sitting through um, some speaker or a training or something, and I just needed to keep my hands busy. Um, this is the top of our drill, more doodles, more doodles. We got, Chris and I both used to eat double bubble tape when we were little and we were having kind of a frustrating day. So I went and bought some bubble tape for us and it just made the whole day so much better. So yeah, that was some um, uh, silos we were driving past. Oh, and I have four nieces and nephews that are able to draw. So I have six in total, but four of them can draw. So this is Adelie's artwork. This is Corbin's artwork, and he um, drew airplanes and penguins. So that's all over that. And then Maverick did that, and Weston did this one. So I just think they're so precious. I gave them all a page and just wanted to treasure that. So um more journaling this was sitting through a, a really long speech i guess <laughs> monologue and i did a lot of journaling there um this was a going away party and i just did some doodling for that more things out of a magazine um, i did a process video for this um, but this has just got some art, some personal journaling under here, and clear paper over the top of that. Um, got some journaling in there and in the back. Uh, more, this was, oh, I turned 29 this year, and um, everyone surprised me and showed up and jumped out at me, and I wanted to remember that. So this was some of the wrapping paper, um, this was a card, part of a card that somebody gave me. This was a pretty letter from my sister. Um, it says Hello Weekend, and I just have some little bits gardening that. Um, anyway, these are fancy papers that I bought that I want to buy again. Uh, these are quotes from a movie that is hilarious. And I've got two blank pages left. This is a plan for work. And then this is my last page. So I'm almost done with this. And I've made a new insert that I will be showing you guys later to go in there. And it's a lot of vintage pages. I'm excited about it. Last but not least, um, this is more of a notepad than a journal, but I did make it. This is my favorite paper. And then I've Got it painted and inked on the sides and then the back of the paper there. It's blank in the back and then has more floral on the inside. Anyway, this is my Bible verse notebook. So I write down the verses that I want to memorize on just little um, three by five flashcards, you know, and I, you know, then you lose them, but I put them all in a book and now 
I can save them all in one spot and it's really small and simple and I can take it with me. So I haven't gotten very far in it. I just started it like a week ago or something, but if I'm reading through a book or the Bible and they point out a good verse, then I just write it down in here. So this is quite the collection. I did not realize I had so many. Oh, and you know what? I didn't even bring out my bullet journal. I have all junk journals out here. Okay, this is the real last but not least. This is my daily planner. And I made this one out of an old book and um, just decorated it with some tape and um, a postcard. And I bound it, spiral bound it, and this is my daily bullet journal. So I just did some doodling in there. My dad used to call me Muff, like Little Miss Muffet. And um, anyway, so I've always been Little Miss Muffet to my dad, so I doodled that one on the front. Here's my key my pocket for stickers and information. There's January and then I have been filling this out. So I'll just give you a real quick flip through. I kind of just do a color scheme per week instead of doing it per month. Um, then this was February. See, I was using lots of stickers during this time. <laughs> I love stickers. I have become addicted to them. And then here's March. And then it started kind of becoming more of like a journal um, just because I would start on a big project or be working on a different project out of the house. And then, you know, when you come home, all you do is you make supper and you go to bed, you know? Um, so then instead I just turned it into a, a journal instead of needing to have a list. This is my April cover page and this is how far we are. And then um, I will be filling out the rest of this. In the back I have um, a kind of a like a food planner kind of um, and then some space to keep filling it out. I've been working on hormones more stuff, testing this, just notes. This is my book tracker. So these are the books that I'm either finished with or have started. And then my grateful list. So whenever I feel like life sucks, I come back to this list and add something to it. So anyway, this is an exhaustive pile of journals I am currently using or use somewhat regularly. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing really well and are enjoying being at home right now. I hope you guys are all healthy and enjoy Easter this week. Bye friends.